Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back. Stub making method. Make stubs now. A bunch of them. How many? Look at my stub count. Usually my stub count's low, and you guys might not believe how many stubs I actually have. 860K for today's video. I sold, I did a bunch of things, right? I got assets all over the place. 860K, you're looking at it. You're thinking, that's pretty good, I guess, right? You might have more. I don't have 860K. I probably have like 2 million. 300 of this dude. I mean, I'm worth a lot. 230 Rizzo's. I haven't spent a single dime on this game. 150 Boba Shats. What I'm trying to say is I'm rich and it's not hard. You guys can be rich with me. We can make a ton of stubs together. Corey Seager's here. Nathan Yovaldi's here. Acuna's here. I got investments everywhere. Look at these guys. I'm worth a lot of stubs. A heck of a lot of stubs. Joey Manessis. That was a bust. Holy. Uh, Justin Steele. Cody Ballinger. I'm worth a lot of stubs. That ain't the stub making method. That's just how, how many stubs I have from doing methods like this that work. So this is verified, it works. I haven't spent a single dime on this game except for buying it. Now I did buy the game, I bought the, I bought the deluxe version of the game. Not the, not the expensive one, the $80 version. So basically, it is no money spent. I spent $80 to buy this game. Since then, zero dimes spent on this game. I'm having fun. Uh, <laughs> check out some of my gameplays and it might prove otherwise. Subscribe so you don't miss out anything on the channel. Let's get into the stub making method for this video. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, to get into the essence of things, it's kind of like flipping cards. I'm gonna go to my—I don't even know. Like, I don't even know how to explain it best. So I'll just go to my completed orders, show the proof of me doing the stub making method. We got guys like Cody Bellinger. We got Velocity Three, which I'll show what that means in a couple seconds. Uh, more Cody Bellingers, more Velocity Three. Don Sutton. You're seeing a lot of sell orders. What does that mean? It means my method's working. Cause look at this, Cody Bellingers. We're seeing my Cody Bellingers selling for 25k, and we're also seeing Cody Bellingers selling for more than that, selling for 28.999, right? So what does that mean? I bought Cody Bellinger for 21.5K. So when I bought a bunch of Cody Bellingers right here, 21,515, uh, you can see more of them going through for a little bit less, more of them going through for a little bit less. I bought them for 21.5, and I was able to sell them all for 28.9, which after tax, that's like 26,000. So I made a 4,000 stub profit per every single Cody Bellinger I have. Now, if you're doing my stuff, if you're doing my roster update stuff, blah, 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 you're already rich. You're, you've already got like at least 300,000 subs you can make uh, to use this method. Now, you can, if you're running low on subs because you're already invested in the marketplace, I mean, cash out, right? You should have at least 500,000 subs available um, that could be tied up in investments. You can always sell some off and do this method if you think it's gonna, if you think it's gonna work. If you don't want to do that and you want to ride with your investments, that's fine. I got stubs to play with, so I'm just making stubs, you know, in my free time. Uh, you want to look at cards like this. So you want to basically, what happens is these cards fluctuate daily and they always bounce back for the most part. In the morning, they'll be a little bit cheaper and at night, they'll be a little bit more expensive and you want to capitalize, you want to buy these cards when they're cheap and sell them when they're high. Now this doesn't work for every card. So I want you guys to comment down below what cards you guys have been uh, able to identify cards that this method is working on. One of the cards that I found was working on was Don Sutton. Don Sutton, look at him right now. He's honestly, he's a good flip right now. He's 22,800 stubs and his sell now is 27.9. So figure it's 28,000 stubs. You sell them after tax, you get about 25.5K. So if I was to sell Don Sutton right, is it, is it gonna let me do the math? Let's see. Yeah, you get 25,100 stubs if you sell them right now. Uh, if you put in a sell order, that is. And if you put in a buy order for 22.8, you're making a 20, 2,300 stub profit which isn't the best right now, but his price will go up at nighttime. I can prove that in a sec. So basically you're making a 2,300 stub profit per Don Sutton. You can buy 10 of him because you have 200K stubs available. You're making 23K for just buying 10 cards. It's a super passive way to make a bunch of stubs quick. Now it is risky and I'll explain that in a couple seconds too, but let me see what I, what, what I did with Don Sutton. So look, my Don Sutton sold for 29K. So at nighttime, Don Sutton can go back up to 30K. Uh, I bought him for definitely less than I bought, you know, let's see. I bought him for 23,000 and I sold him for 29,000. This one's selling for almost close to 30,000. So look at his marketplace trends. Go on the end of the show app. It'll tell you basically every single day the lowest he's ever been. The lowest he's ever been is right now. It's pretty flat. You wouldn't expect him to change that much. Um, so this is the kind of the method you want to do. You want to find cards like this. Another guy I did this method on is Joe Morgan. This is something I want to point out. I did kind of get screwed over. This method isn't foolproof. Joe Morgan, the, the lowest Joe Morgan's ever been in the in the game has been, what is it, like 30, the lowest he's ever been was like 39K. And he was at 33K sell now. So I put in buy orders for 33K in bulk 
and I bought, I think, six or seven of Joe Morgan at 33K. It's the lowest he's ever been. I was like, all right, he'll go back up at nighttime. He didn't go back up at nighttime. In fact, he went down. I guess people think he's getting phased out of the game. His price went down. So as you can see, I'll probably take an 18K loss on this Joe Morgan card, but it's fine. I'm also not going to panic sell. Another thing I'm going to know, I'm not going to panic sell. Sell. We can afford taking losses if we have a bunch of stubs. Um, so the approach I'm going to take here, there's going to be a stub sale eventually. And now the way stub sales work, every single one of these cards, the prices might go up by 1.5x. So Joe Morgan, if he's 30, 30K before the stub sale, he'll be 45K during the stub sale because there's more stubs going around the marketplace, more packs, blah, blah, blah. Joe Morgan, he'll be worth more eventually. So I'm not going to take that loss right now. I could. If I need stubs to invest, I can just take the 18K loss and make the 25K on Sutton. I could right now. Um, but another approach is to hold for a stub sale, which is why I like this method a lot. Because if a stub sale comes, we're also not only going to make the stubs from flipping, but we're going to hold and the stub sale will make us a lot of stubs too. Ralph Kiner. Just looking at cards like this, like I don't know the morning and night trends for, Ra for Ralph Kiner, but considering there's a 7K gap in his buy now and sell now, I mean, if I if you get the, look at this, you get the sell now, let's see, 39, 499, it costs, you get 35.5 back and you, in, and you put in 32, that's a 3.5K profit per Ralph Kiner right now. I mean, heck, I might do that right now. I'm going to have to see how his price changes at night and at day to make sure it's higher volume, how much risk is involved and whatnot. But that's an easy way to make a bunch of stubs and you can mitigate the risk if you're doing it right. Now, the reason I mentioned Velocity 3, you can also do this um, with some of these guys right here. Some of the perks, some of the equipment. Now, equipment I don't like and even some of these perks because it's, it's super low volume. Who wants to buy a perk, right? Like it sucks. Velocity 3, I think it was. Where's that at? Right here. Velocity 3, I bought a bunch of these for like 1,100 stubs each, maybe even 1,000. I don't even really, I still have seven left. I bought them for like 1,000, 1,100. I bought them in bulk. The price won't ever be below 1,500, so you're making less. You're making less. It's more time consuming, more orders. So I'd stick with uh, the higher tier cards. But if you if you don't have that many stubs to play with, I wouldn't recommend flipping gold, silvers. That all sucks. You're literally, you're not going to make that many stubs per flip. Even like this, when I was doing this, the flip uh, value was a lot higher. I think the sell now was 1100 and the buy now was 2200 So I was making basically double my stubs for every single flip. Uh, right now, obviously, I'm not going to lose stubs, um, but it did definitely the value did decrease on stuff like that. So you want to identify cards like that, make a bunch of stubs quick. And honestly, that's the stub method. The other cards I've been doing this on, uh, we can look at my completed orders just for proof. Bellinger, Velocity 4, Velocity 3, Don Sutton, and Joe Morgan, like I said, I lost it on. The Knox batting gloves, that wasn't equipment I tried doing it on. I only made about one to 2,000 stubs per one of these. So I still made 10K profit, uh, but it, I wouldn't recommend doing equipment. Like I said, it's low volume, it sucks, and your stubs get tied up. Devin Williams, maybe I tried doing this on Devin Williams. Uh, and even the boss cards, a lot of these higher overall cards that are around 30K, you'll be able to do this method on. So comment down below. Who's this work best on for you? Comment if this helps you if you're going to do the method. Thanks for watching, boys. Smash the subscribe button and don't miss out on future gameplay and content.